Well, the fair must go on, though many are remembering longtime concession worker Everly Van Meter, a one-man workforce also known as the Dr. Pepper Man. This is the first year since 1958 that Van Meter will not be working at the fair. KRBC's Noah McKinney spoke with his friends and family who are remembering his legacy following his recent passing. To those he served, Eberly Van Meter was known as the Dr. Pepper Man. To his friends, just Van. But most of all, he was Mr. Fair. I don't know how the, what we're going to do without him. In 1958, Van started working concession at the West Texas Fair and Rodeo at just 20 years old, a job he did dutifully for 64 years. That was Daddy's Christmas. He got to see all of his friends. He got to shake hands, you know. But it wasn't all howdies and handshakes. His two oldest, Shane and Crystal, say their father was a textbook workaholic. Always working. He, he, he never slowed down. They always said that the life is a circus, and if, uh, if you want to maintain your life, you have to learn how to juggle. Though between concessions, Dr. Pepper deliveries and machine maintenance, a juggling act, might have been easier. Say your electricity went out here, our gas is out, somebody was harassing you, you talked to Van. Mac McCarthy first met Van at the soda plant and worked most fairs with him too. He'd do anything for you, he loved you, but he would tease the living dogs out of you if he could. A practical joker and proud family man, Van taught his loved ones to laugh at life. We often said to each other, if you can't enjoy it, laugh at yourself. Lost a, lot. a work ethic and wonder for life that he kept with him right up to his passing this year. He was still talking on his phone saying, I want this, I need this many cups. He was still doing the fair. A heavy task now being passed on to Shane, though the job is nothing new for him. I've helped him since I was a kid. And though the absence is still fresh. I was out here Sunday and I walked around and says, where's Van? And then I started crying because he, he wasn't here. The fair will go on even if Van is supervising from a distance. Because I know Jesus is going to take care of you, so you better behave yourself up there. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Well, thank you, Noah. Eberly Van Meter passed away on September 2nd of this year. His services were held at the Gerdner Funeral Home in Abilene on September the 12th.